I'm Jessica Lucci, and I'm going to read to you my story, Annabelle Lee, from A Cast of Crows. Annabelle Singh lured the crow closer, her voice soft and breathy like an ocean zephyr whispering in through the porthole of the exorbitant cruise ship. Oh, little crow, what do you know of the land beyond sea? What can you tell me? The crow hopped over next to her where she idled in her bed and dropped a small ruby brooch onto the thick quilt. Annabelle Lee, it cawed in a soft, cracking voice. You roguish creature, Annabelle laughed. Thank you for the gift, though we must try to return it to whomever you stole it from. The door adjoining her boudoir to the captain's chamber door swung open. Captain Edgerton entered, carrying a silver breakfast tray with a small pot of tea. The smile slid from his face when he drew on the scene. He abruptly thumped the tray onto a large, polished chest. I told you I do not approve of this dratted flying rat, especially in your private chambers. It probably carries fleas with it, and that I do not need to subject my guests to any vermin. Disgusting, vile creature! The crow looked inquisitively from the captain to Annabelle. The crow is only bringing me a shiny trinket, see? Annabelle held up the ruby brooch. The captain roared. A thief, that one. It would pluck a twinkle from my eye if it could. What would our guests say if they knew that their property was being stolen by a nasty bird? He stepped closer and waved at the crow wildly. Away with you! Annabelle called out, Goodbye, friend. Friend? The captain asked, the captain asked incredulously. What need do you have of friends? That fiend is no friend anyway. But I love it! The captain slammed his fist upon the large chest, rattling the breakfast tray. You are to only love me. Yes, of course, Annabelle answered. Didn't I name this very vessel for you? The HMS Annabelle Lee? What prouder exclamation of my devotion to you could you need? And yet you are amused by a filthy flea instead of focusing your attention on me? Annabelle rolled down the quilt from her lounging body and smoothly slid her legs over the edge of the bed so that her bare toes barely touched the wooden floor. She arose and reached her arms out to her fiancé. Of course, I would give you my attention. I admire the proclamation of dedication you set forth by granting your grand cruise ship my name. Remember the day we christened her? The captain folded his arms. Yes, that was a glorious day indeed. Annabelle stepped toward him and placed her slender hands upon his arms. He unfolded them and embraced her. Just remember who the captain is.